Hey, what's up, everybody? It's time for the weekly update, so let's get to it. Okay, so today's update is going to be uh, starting at the purple digitata. You can see how much it's truly grown over time and how it's developed and filled up this whole entire area. I have also placed a piece of the neon green frog skin over here and see if it will grow and develop. It has generated polyps out of it, so it, it is growing. Uh, but of course, over time, we'll see if that will grow out of that spot. The Hollywood Stunner Chalice is now uh, continued to curve up uh, into what a chalice shape would be and has also now completely um, encrusted onto the tower right here. Uh, so every day it, it can, it just amazes me how this is growing in this one spot. The neon green, purple gold candy canes are starting to pinch off more and more and their growth is slow but steady. The zoanthid garden is filling out and filling up more and more. Um, just this morning I counted the heads of the utter chaos and now currently it is at 24, so this is filled out really nicely, as well as the Sunny D's, the Rastas, and the Worldwide Coral Pandora, Pandora Coral. As you can see, that middle head is really now filled out nicely. The Fungia plate has grown somewhat and is really enjoying where it is right now in the tank. As you can see, the night before Christmas chalice has now thoroughly gone down to the bottom of the original rock and has started to encrust onto the rock that I glued it on. You can also see on the side shot, it's totally overlapped the edge. So the growth of this is amazing. This favia, the neon green favia is just, it's doing well. It's a slow grower, so we, I always have my eye on this one. The Acan, Acan Avenue, as, as it's been called, is doing quite well. Everything is growing, everything is looking quite nice. So I'm pretty thrilled about this area. The Blastos are doing well. This Wellsy is coloring up more and more. The tentacles are always out, and it's just really, like I said, always when I talk about this, a stunning piece on the tank. As far as the other parts or pieces of the neon green frog skin, they're doing quite well. This one here, you can see where the break was, has now started to reclaim that area and skin over, and the pieces are starting to grow up out of the base. So I'm really hopeful in the future that that is a nice little colony. As the main branch, this is completely skinned over from the break. The green is starting to come into the break area and it's healing quite well. And it's growing by leaps and bounds. Now what I've noticed on this piece of uh, red setosa, you see the ends that would appear and made me worry about it actually be bleaching out, it's not. What this is is growth. It will grow through these sudden spurts of growth and at least in my tank, you'll see these white pieces form and then the uh, polyps will grow into them and cover it over and it'll be just like the rest of the colony. The Montipora cap, doing real well as the top centerpiece. The rainbow cloves, 
are doing well and um, the little babies are now getting bigger so they, they should be growing and I'm hopeful that like I said to fill out that this face of this rock with them so this way I could just cover up some areas and also cover up where this epoxy is the candy canes getting bigger and bigger uh, still the size of a softball is starting to stretch down to the bottom of the rock towards the sand and out from the sides this piece uh, the birthday cake coral from Billy Pipes has completely encrusted to that this one edge right here and now the skirt extends down lower and as I said on the last update I'm hoping that once it gets down into this area it'll pull everything tight and crust to the rock the green encrusted in Monty is doing really well and is now encrusted to the rock itself as well as the green and purple uh, cat's paw they are doing quite well as also and here's the other piece of acro the neon green frog skin these red mushrooms I've noticed this one is filled out and grown a lot more than the top one I don't know why that is but I'm hoping that as you can see here it's stretching out towards the face of the rock that pretty soon it's going to form a new mushroom there the Euphelia garden as always does not disappoint um, plans for this is going to be as I look at this one green tip frog spawn here most likely what I'll do is I'm going to move that to that corner right there where the females in front of just to top out that corner give a little bit of a different look to it and eventually maybe move that piece of frog spawn into it and make one huge section of frog spawn hammer corals are doing really good and the torches the purple torch is amazing uh, you know as of now all the white tips are gone as far as the, the main branches are concerned and the whole coral is now purple the worldwide coral neon green torch is doing really well it's a little deflated right now uh, something irritated it this morning and it pulled in some of the sweepers but it'll reg regain its size soon and finally the purple tip or pink tip torch is doing outstanding so that's pretty much the update for today so until next time this is Scott and I'll see you soon around the reef tank so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did leave a thumbs up down below leave a comment and don't forget if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button